Hello everyone, I am Jolios PL and this is the first episode of my new series, a beginner's guide to Lego mech building. This series will be a bit different from my usual frame tutorials because instead of exact instructions, I will be showing you step by step how I go about designing a mech. First, I will be covering the most boring and tedious part of building any Lego creation and that is sorting your bricks. I built my first mech by basically diving into a nearly dumpster sized box of Legos and hoping that I find the right pieces. It took me about 5 hours to find everything and I never made that mistake again. I like to separate my bricks into 8 categories. Plates, tiles, slopes, movables, technic, lights, minifigure parts and bricks. When I run out of space in a container for a single category, for example plates, I separate them by size, later I separate them by color, and so on and so forth. It's a good idea to get yourself some specialized containers for storage, something like these, for example. Alright, now that the boring part is over, you can finally start thinking about the mech that you want to build. First, you need to figure out which genre your mech belongs to. There are two main genres of mech-related media, Super Robot and Real Robot. Super Robots are, as the name suggests, robots with superpowers, for example Gurren Lagan from Tengen Topa Gurren Lagan or the Megazord from Power Rangers. When you build these kinds of mechs, you can do whatever you want, there are absolutely no rules. Real robots, however, are a different story, because they need to be a bit more realistic. Obviously, they can't be indestructible, they need to have some sort of a finite fuel, power or ammunition source. They also need to have some sort of basis in the laws of physics, like being unable to enter the atmosphere or fly without some sort of a transformation system or a special backpack. Some good examples of real robots are the Titans from Titanfall, Gypsy Danger from Pacific Rim, and of course the RX-78-2 Gundam from Mobile Suit Gundam. As you can probably tell from my previous videos, this tutorial series will focus on real robots, but much of it can also apply to super robot design. And now it's finally time to start the design process itself. If you decided to build a real robot, you need to first know what kind of universe your mechs exist in. And don't worry, you don't need to create complex stories, political factions, etc. You just need to answer a few questions. For example, in this universe, do plasma weapons exist? Do these mechs use only their legs to move, or do they also have thrusters or some sort of anti-gravity engines? Do they engage in melee combat? Basically, you need to set a, a logic that you will follow when you design your mech. And by logic, I don't mean realism, because, come on, giant robots will never be realistic. Creating your own design logic and following it makes the whole process of designing and building a mech much more fun and engaging for you and your viewers, if you want to show your mech to people, that is. Now, the final step before starting to build is choosing a color scheme for your mech. You can either play it safe with a white, grey or black and another color, or go with a bit more unique paint job. The only color I would avoid is yellow as a main color. I believe that this color is reserved for construction or maintenance type mechs and other equipment. Also, you should make the parts of your mech's frame or skeleton that stick out like joints or fingers out of a different color than the armor. And thus concludes the first episode of A Beginner's Guide to Lego Mech Building. In the second episode we will actually start building something, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Also, if you are new to my channel, check out Galactic Century, my Star Wars and Gundam crossover stop motion series. Links in the description. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you next time.